So, Jay, what if I told you there was a one-bedroom, one-bathroom home for sale in the country and the price was dirt cheap? Would you be interested? Wouldn't be. But as CTV's Derek Haggett shows us, there's a catch with this house, which just hit the market. About six years ago, Paul McFadden went looking for peace and quiet and found it. McFadden bought a one-room house near Shediac and began living off the grid. He generates his own power and gets his water from a well. His only bill? $300 per year for the lease. Some days, he and his dog Sheba don't see or hear anything at all. Well, there's no one here to tell me, well, you know, what time to get up, when to do the dishes. But he's put his fortress of solitude up for sale and says there's been interest. The modest $16,000 price tag comes with generators and solar panels. A good deal, but it's not easy living. The bathroom is outside, and you'll need a big supply of wood to survive the winter. I've come to the point now, though, where I'm 72, and uh, I kind of think it's time to let go of this place. The former fisherman picked up folk art years ago when his back gave out. He's also dabbled in karate and credits a former instructor for helping him through a tragedy. After his son Nathaniel was murdered in 2009, his old friend would come visit him. And, and talk to me very peaceful about it, like, uh, so, because I was very angry, eh? you know, and um, angry at everybody, I guess, and, and he, he, he helped me. Once his home sells, the plan is to move in with his 91-year-old mother who lives nearby. He's ready to go, but he'll miss the best part of living off the grid. It's just the peacefulness of it. I mean, look right now, I mean, what do you hear? I mean, nothing. I asked Paul if he got many visitors out here, especially in the wintertime, and he said not that many, but occasionally he does catch a bear in his compost bin. Derek Haggett, CTV News, near Shediac, New Brunswick.